Who benefits when a two-year-old is called terrible? I'll give you the answer. It's the adult. When I hear someone say terrible twos or three major or any of the likes, here's what I really hear. I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to do right now to connect and understand. Nothing I'm trying is working and I'm outside of my scope of practice. I need help. I didn't know that this is what it was going to be and that it was gonna be so hard. Here's the truth, age does not dictate behavior. So that two-year-old that you're labeling terrible is going to turn three, four, 14, 15, 16, 27, 52. If you're calling two-year-olds terrible, it is a big call-in to understand what's going on for your child so that you can meet them and help connect and help support them grow. What would be the consequences of having a well-informed toolbox and understanding? What would it be the impact for your child having that support from their primary caregiver? That's why I'm a positive parenting coach, helping parents ditch ineffective tools that fuel and support and escalate power struggles and tensions and guilt and overwhelm and shame. I help them learn and practice and gain confidence in more effective tools. If I'm speaking to you and you're hearing this, I encourage you to go to my bio link and check out some of the free guides, take the free class, join the free upcoming challenge, get into spaces of support. And if you made that choice, what the cost and benefits would be for your child because they're not terrible and no one deserves to be called terrible no matter their age.